All right, so now we have a calculator problem that actually does require a calculator. Uh, so we're given the velocity of a particle uh, in the xy plane. We're asked for the total distance the particle travels uh, from 1 to 3. So total distance, right, uh, is essentially just the, uh, the integral of the speed, right? So the speed is going to be this thing squared. Right, so this is going to be your x prime of t squared plus uh, your y prime of t, right, squared. Like that's that's what this is, and that's what this is. Uh, so sine of one plus root t quantity squared uh, with respect to t uh, from one to three. And if you know that, it's it's really not awful. Uh, I, you don't have to be in parametric mode. You should definitely be in radian mode. You can be in parametric mode if you want. Uh, certainly, you could also do this in function mode. Uh, so I'm going to clear out the old stuff I had. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put 4e to the negative t in for the x, and I'm going to put sine of 1 plus the square root, oops, my bad, uh, of t. Close the root, close the sine, right? Uh, and then I'm going to quit out of this, and then I'm going to do math 9, right? Uh, the square root of vars over to y vars pick parametric and pick x1 quantity squared plus vars over to y vars pick parametric and pick y1 quantity squared close the root comma with respect to t from 1 to 3 all right and then double check that all of those are correct and then i get my answer to be answer a and that's really just about knowing that total distance uh, so total distance is essentially the arc length formula, right? So total distance in parametric is just the same as arc length, um, right? So there's two ways to think about this. Um, you can either think about it as the arc length, because that's what it would be, um, or you can think about it as integrating uh, the speed, which is, right, this is, sorry, did more of a vector notation than I meant to. Uh, or you can think about it as integrating speed, whichever way you want to think about it. Uh, so it is also the integral of speed, uh, because speed is this as well. So, so really, either way you want to think about it, it's the exact same equation. Um, both of them make logical sense. So it's either the integral of speed or it's the arc length, either way.